Hey guys, it's Mike or Waldo Prison here. Um, this is a video of my railroad drawings that I'm doing. Uh, this the ones completed are New Jersey Transit and One NS. This one was just by like hand. Um, before I started my drawings, I do now. It's uh, supposed to be an MP20 B-3, but looks more like a submarine. But it's it's good enough. Then this one, my NJG SW 1500 number 502, it came out pretty good. Then the uh, real MP20 B-3 number 1001 came out pretty good, I think. Then the single Arrow 3. Um, I'll be honest, it didn't come out as great as I wanted it to. Then uh, the GP40PH-2A number 4145. I think that came out fairly good. Um, I think the wheels on the back could have been a little bit better, but um, I think it's good enough. The ALP-44M number 4421. This is the better of my ALP44 uh, series. Pretty good. Um, I might do another one, I don't know, yet, uh, yet. Then, um, uh, my F40PH-2CAT, number 4113. Uh, I think this was one of my better ones. Um, although you can see the marks of where I, like, started, like, coloring in, uh, but I think it came out fairly well. Then the GP40PH-2, number 4100. Um, this came out okay. Uh, I think the logo was a little bit, uh, messed up, like, the, uh, disco stripes, but, um, you know, I think it came out fairly well. Here's my PF42AC, number 4000. Um, not one of my better ones, but, um, I, put, I think I could have put on another windshield wiper on the front. Uh, it came out pretty good, though. And my... GP40 FH-2 4138, one of the ones still active. Um, I, th I did fairly well on it. I think um, maybe I could have put uh, a little bit more of those like step ladders in the middle there. But uh, overall, it came out uh, fairly well. And my GP40 PH-2B number 4200, I think I kind of messed up on uh, the yellow like right there in here. Um, I think that should have been orange, but, um, I still think it came out pretty good. Here's my, uh, ALP-44-4405. Came out pretty good. Um, the pantograph's down, um, but I think it, uh, other than that, it's, uh, one of my better locomotives. Um, here's my ALP-46A, number 4629. I think it came out better than the other ALP46, but, um, it's, it's still, uh, it's fairly good. One of my better ones. Then comes the Metro North GP40 FH-2. Uh, I did West of Hudson Metro North also in this. This came out okay. You can see a little bit of the difference of the lines there. Um, I, I really should have made the blue a little bit better. Uh, like more into the gray. Uh, that probably would have been better. ALP-46. That one was uh, one of my bad ones, but um, I think it's okay. Like in the back, the front there is it's not really that great, but um, I think it's good enough. Then my P. Oh wait, forgot a row here. Um, my GP-40-2. This one came out okay. It was long good forward, but um. It's okay. Uh, th you can see some color variation in the gray because some of my markers started to go. So, you know, kind of had to resort. Here, this one, the Metro North F40PH-2GAT 4193. This one, um, this one was pretty good. I kind of messed up on the ladder there. Um, I should have done the ladder first. But, um, other than that, I think it came out pretty good. Back to my P40DC 4800. Um, the newest NJT I did. You can see I kind of did that there. Kind of cut the corner. Uh, it was pretty good otherwise, though. Uh, fairly well. 
Here's my Metro North GP40 PH-2, number 4906. It's the smallest engine I've made. Uh, it was a small uh, thing, sorry. Also, uh, it has a camel hump or whatever that is in the back. I don't know why I did that. Um, then this one, Metro North F40PH-3C. I think I did really good on this one. You can see, like, some color goes into the white there, but... Um, I think it came out fairly well. And now, my best engine I've did, the ALP-45DP, number 4500. This is probably my best and favorite drawing I've done so far. You can see it's really accurate. Uh, the lights, I think, are more white than yellow. That's the only thing I would complain about. But, um, other than that, it was a pretty good one. And then, going over here to my Norfolk Southern ones. Um, here's the RCP4, number 98. Uh, I completely screwed up on the lettering. Um, but... Other than that, I think the logo came out nice. This is my first Norfolk Southern I've done so far. This one I'm currently working on. See, RP20BD number 100. Yeah, you can see I'm starting to color it in. I'm just, I think it should be done by Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday the, t I forget the date, but anyway. Uh, the, you can see, easily see the lettering there. Kind of sucks, but um, I'll try to work it out there. Um, here's some that I still have yet to start coloring in. Here's a 3GS21B number 301. Um, you can see where like how I did it in pencil and um, you know I could you can see like where all the different colors will go like because these are gen sets I think I believe they're gen sets and they have a lot of lettering on them so you know I have to do that. Then the GPT EB slug number 600. This one came out okay. Um, this was actually one of my better ones that I've done. But, uh, yeah, I think it was pretty good, considering. Then, the RP-E4C slug, they're currently building this. This is number 700. Um, I think I probably could have done a little better job, say, like, over here. Other than that, I think I did very, uh, fairly well so far. There's the RPU 6 slug. Um... You can see it is a slug. Um, I, I think this is one of my newer ones. That Yeah, this is one of my newer ones. I probably could have done better, but um, it's good enough for now. We'll see how the outcome is. Um, moving on over to the RP-E4 slug, number 912. Um, this one came out fairly well. Uh, I don't know how this will come out. The RP-E4D slug number 937. This one was okay. Uh, I think it could have went out better with the little bump it has there. But other than that, uh, really no complaining. Here's another RP-E4U slug number 963. It came out okay. Um, I think the logo there kind of got messed up though. Move over to the SD70 Ace number 1001. I'm gonna do the heritage units, but uh, that's after I finish the whole after the whole heritage unit program finishes. But the regular one is fairly well. Uh, I think forgot a little box there, but uh, of where the door is. But other than that, it was good. Then the BP4 number 999. This one was probably the best one I've done so far. Um, you know, uh, we'll see how it comes out. Uh, it looks good so far. I just have to color it in the different green, black, and, uh, white. Here's the NS High Hood, number, uh, SD40-2, number 1635. Uh, it was pretty good. I drew it with pen, so it, uh, kind of messed up on some things, obviously. But it's, I, I think it'll come out pretty good. Here's one that... Everyone would love SW1001 number 2107. I'm gonna do in Conrail quality paint. This should come out good. Um, anything Conrail is good, though. We all know that. Uh, I've made more drawings, but this is all I'm doing right now. Um, 
you know, I'll, uh, I'll check back, do an update. Um, if you want me to do a, t a tutorial on one of these, uh, feel free to comment yes or no in the comments thing. Um, yeah, I'll probably do another update sometime next week. Uh, hope you like these. Enjoy.